y'all, it's Rosie here and I am dressed exactly the same and that is because I'm using my time wisely. I will be picking Tom up from the airport later tonight. I'm very excited and hopefully he will be home at least for a few weeks. So I wanna go ahead and do a couple of reacts just so I feel good about it and I've missed you guys a lot so I really want to do this have fun I love reading the comment section so um I just thought you know what we haven't gone back to Alexandra Rodriguez or learning to be fearless in quite a while so I want to react to her most recent video which is pantry clean out smoothie recipe and easter cookies with the family vlog and I can say the way she titles everything is exactly like Amberlynn Reed. So it's very funny to me. I always want to look for how Amber has watched and copied said video. So let's do it. And then y'all, the number one thing I want to talk about as someone who has not even two months out from gastric bypass surgery, I want to talk about what this girl eats because I do not expect to be eating this stuff a year out from my surgery. So let's get into it. Okay, I do guys, like that effort she puts into vlog, the videos. I just want to give another reminder it is her job. until April 16th, you can send in an audition for a special casting call that I'm doing. It's top secret, but it is about plus size dating. And I need plus size women and men who are interested in plus size women. So if you're chosen, you will obviously be given more information, but it's top Darn secret it. for now. Married. I'm looking for men and women in their 20s and 30s. So if you want to apply, do it by April 16th with a video submission. You can just upload your video to YouTube, set your video as unlisted, answering these questions. They'll also be down in the description box. I'll put all the info down there with the email to send I it to. I am interested to watch it. Whatever happens, I will be watching answering it. those questions. And it's gonna be something really special, really exciting that I want you to be a part of. So don't forget to go and apply before April 16th. Well, 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 guess who ended up back at the car dealership? <laughs> Yar's car, I brought it in for him last week and there was something wrong, so um, nothing big, but like I brought it back for him, so I'm just pulling up now. I was gonna start um, a spring cleaning vlog today, but um, the part he needed came in this morning, so I was like, I'll bring it in for you. So it's bright and early, not a gym day, okay, anyways. Can you do a spring cool. cleaning vlog after you take the car the automatic door and in we go. Okay, you guys, all set. It took up a couple hours and it was perfect, so I got a bunch of computer work done that I hate doing at home but it forced me to do it here, so that's good. Time to head home and see my boys. Okay, you guys, I am back home. And what is it with those giant 12 30, cups? so I'm gonna make some lunch. Last night we got Dominican food for dinner. It was so good, and I got this little baby one, but it was like stuffed to the brim. I just got chicken, um, rice, and veg, and I have some left. So I think I'm just gonna heat this up for lunch. Are you looking at me all cute? Why are you rice? looking at me all cute? You're so cute. In a little bit, That's we're gonna go dog. for, oh, he knows. <laughs> you wanna go to Lululemon and return the thing I didn't get to return yesterday? Okay, you guys, so Bruni and I are driving to Lululemon right now. They have Easter bunny portraits. I kid you not, I am just treating Bruno like my child. There's a very small part of me that wants to take a picture. Have Bruno take a picture with the Easter Bunny. I just think it'd be so cute, but I'm not going to. My dog's gonna <laughs> I trying just, to murder the Easter I'm very bunny tempted, doll. and I just had to say I'm very tempted. I just, ugh, I love all They're that stuff so much. Bunnies. All right, ooh, Hi. Bruni, we got some good parking, loves it. I hope they're like willing to give me a gift card and I don't have to like make a decision in the store today of what I'm gonna buy, cause like Aww. I'd rather. I know I'm obsessed with my animals, but something about the way she talks to her dog freaks me out. I don't know what it is. I don't, I honestly, I don't know what it is. And maybe it's just me. Is it just me? Anyone else feel that way? No? Okay, back to it. You know, be able to take home a gift card and like look online. And they have more options online too when it comes to like sizes and stuff. I find a lot of Lululemon, oddly enough, runs a little bit big. Like sometimes some of my stuff that I have from them is a 14. The joggers I bought here last time, I think were a 12 or 14. They, a lot of their stuff runs on the bigger side. Not everything though, but a lot of it. So 
All right, let's go. Let's go see the situation. I feel like it's because it's supposed to be loose, but then if it's tight right on you. Now. Okay, back. That was very fast. She gave me a gift card. She said it could work online. I didn't feel like putzing around the store. Um, so I have a gift card. So we'll see what we come up with online. Isn't that right? Bruni, I'm still fighting the Did urge she just leave to, the take puppy to in the car? take a picture with the Easter Bunny. He's like, yeah, what are we doing? He's just doing. down for whatever. It's like for all my fellow moms out there, TTC or want, want to be moms, I don't know. It's, I know how hard it is seeing everyone there with their kids, babies, like, ugh, my heart like cracks. Like it just cracks. <laughs> But I'm just trying to stay hopeful. Um, there's a man here, right? I do want her and her husband to be successful and have a child. <sighs> I don't know. Just, you're a dog mom. Like, just take your dog. Just take your dog. We try, I tried to take my dogs to Cabela's to get photos with Santa Claus. No, no. Old Z was trying to fight every dog there, even though she's literally 12 and decrepit. And the boys were trying to murder Santa. Like, I think they were trying to just, like, rip his pants off. So, if you got a calm one, I'm jealous. In a golf cart, what are we doing? <laughs> I smell hella mulch. And I know mulch is, like, kind of a gross smell. But like, I also kind of love it because it's just like, mm, spring, you know what I mean? It just smells like spring. Also, I'm passing Tropical Cafe smoothie and it's really hard to resist because I would love a smoothie. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go home and make a smoothie. Like, don't know why I'm craving a smoothie. I don't often crave smoothies. I like smoothies, but like, I don't always crave a smoothie, but I do want one. I like but them because it's easy home, to so. take in. I think I'm gonna go home and make a smoothie. And it's, what time is it? It's 1.30. I've been wanting to start the spring cleaning, so I probably should start. <laughs> I'm just such a morning person, like in terms of getting like projects like cleaning done, I just prefer to do it in the morning. The afternoon I get kind of slumpy and I'd rather just like do stuff on the computer. I wonder if it's because you're not well. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna go home and make a smoothie and we'll just we'll break it down. Like anytime you get overwhelmed with like a task, just like break it down into something small like into doable sections. So I'm just gonna start today with the pantry clean out because that's one that I really wanna do because you might have food in there that you didn't know you had, that you should use up. You might um, have expired stuff. And like you just, you don't always see everything. So it's good to go through the pantry. Um, and I don't think, I haven't gone through it since we moved in exactly like a year ago. How long ago did so, they move into their house? It's getting sunny, Booney. It's getting nice and sunny. I can see a little bit of blue sky. I was like, that's a long blue time sky not even in the pantry. We are now going to take the dog for I try to keep mine kind of clean now. Because it's literally, like, within the next hour, it's supposed to get up to the 70s. So, and then I think I saw in the weather next week was going to be in the 80s. A couple days in the 80s. I was like, oh my God. Trying to go to the beach, each. Okay, you guys, back home. Let's make a smoothie, smoothie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have fresh fruit, um, and I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the fresh pineapple just tastes even better. I buy this to snack on, but we're gonna put some in our smooth. Sometimes how big of a smoothie is she crazy. making? Sometimes I end up putting just like too much fruit, and then it ends up being like a massive smoothie, and I can't finish it. So. I'm gonna use some of my fresh berries. Do you guys also feel like smoothies just like kind of taste better with the fresh fruit and the frozen? Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, a little bit of everything. And then from my little fruit medley bag here, I'm gonna take out some of the bananas. See this little chunk of frozen bananas? That's gonna sweeten it up, give it a nice creamy texture. I'm also gonna add in just a little bit of this Siggy's yogurt. It's gonna be a big smoothie. That's a lot of yogurt. Like okay, she doesn't well, measure catch on the anything. Flip. Going to that was definitely more than a half cup of fruit as well. Me. So if you guys want to try it, let's see what I'm gonna prove. Okay, we're gonna do some collagen powder. I like using the Vital Proteins collagen powder because it has um, collagen, but it also has protein. So I do two scoops because that's the serving. 
and then we get um, 18 grams of protein, we get collagen, and then I'm gonna add in some spirulina powder just because I can't taste it, and I know it's good for me. That was a little more than a half of a teaspoon. And since I usually use frozen fruit, I don't always have to add ice, but this was a lot of fresh fruit, so I'm gonna add in ice and a little bit of water. Okay, I also added in a splash of almond milk. Gonna shake it in there. Yeah, that's a huge Blend smoothie. Like I, that is a huge smoothie. All right, smoothie came out oh so good. Oh my God. Good. Kind of like a bluish green from the spirulina, but really, really yummy. And we've got some protein in here too. Still a little too much. It's so funny how it just expands so much. I'm just never prepared. And then I'm like, if I put in one little chunk of pineapple, it's just gonna not feel like enough. But just remember, your smoothies expand. All right, smoothies made. Okay, Let's but like, y'all saw that, right? I'm going to my cabinet. So y'all, I think y'all known, y'all seen long enough. The only drinkware that I have in my whole house other than some travel bottles is just mason jars because I do a lot of canning. I make a lot of drinks and make a lot of things. And using the jars is the only way to go. I don't believe in any other glassware. So I'm going to go grab that jar real quick and let's see how many cups is in that because good Lord. For those of you, okay. For those of you who measure things in uh, cups, where she had that filled to was three and a half cups. For those of you who use milliliters, 800 milliliters. That is, that is insane. That is insane. And I know she's a year out, like after surgery. That's insane. That is so much. I. Oh my God. Okay, we're, we're going back into it. Go do a pantry clean out time lapse. a day. lot of caffeine a lot of carbonation a lot of carbs a lot of sugars that pantry was just like a giant warning sign like don't eat any of this okay you guys it's almost five o'clock before i cook dinner i thought i would take the dog for a little walk because i was starting to feel like lethargic and i just Ugh, wanted to lay down but a new walk would kind of rejuvenate me and keeping Bruni good on the leash so he can keep getting used to it and he's doing so good and it's so nice out. Also you guys these are just like walking thoughts. I'm so happy yoga pants are back. As I said the kids are calling them flared leggings. That t-shirt did not but look oversized. I don't know I just love them. They I'm make sorry. me feel a bit more balanced so and I have like an oversized t-shirt tied up so all right Bruni you sniffing? All right we just got back from our walk. I'm gonna start cooking dinner because I'm making like a new casserole so it's and it takes oven, like I those I protein make, noodles um i have like no real protein in them the and they are filled with carbs um but like i decided to switch it up and i'm just gonna like make it into a casserole <laughs> i know it sounds so weird but i saw it on tiktok i saw someone make like some sort of spaghetti casserole once and it's just like you ground the meat so i'm gonna ground up the turkey first let it simmer in the sauce for a bit bake the noodles and you kind of put it all together, sprinkle it's called spaghetti. and like bake it. It's like everyone's mom it. makes that I guess ever when you add sour cream to it or something. I'm gonna look up some recipes and kind of just like make it my own. <laughs> but like, I love a casserole. I love like a mishmash mush situation. You I've never like really loved spaghetti like, and meatballs, um, but like it always just like kind of gets in doing. the dinner rotation. Don't know why. <laughs> um, I don't hate it, but it's just like not my fave. And I just feel like having it as a casserole would just be like chef's kiss so good so like we'll see how it comes out i'm just gonna wing it so i got oh, this Tom pasta sauce on sale at whole foods he looks the basil marinara no sugar added i think it's like 
keto. I don't know. It had great reviews and it's low sugar. So we'll see how it is. And I just grabbed my protein pasta. I think this is actually chickpea pasta, but yeah, let's see. All right, I just cooked up the ground oh my turkey. Gosh. I'm gonna put in most of the sauce. I'm gonna save like a teeny bit, just in case I need it later for What like, is layering. happening? So we're just gonna let this like simmer for a bit. I might it's so add much in a little sauce. bit of just gonna evaporate. The most I can have is like, Saucy, two tablespoons of marinara sauce. It's out of all the you ground turkey, have. salt, pepper, That's probably even garlic more powder, than onion powder, powder, Italian seasoning. Um, what else? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna also drop in the spaghetti. Okay, update. I added in the sauce, a little bit of pasta water, and then I also Why made like a very water? little squirt Why? of light sour cream. Um, I don't know how much because I got the squirty one. 10 out of 10 recommend the squirty one. doesn't measure anything. Uh, our noodles are almost done. I'm going to only cook them to like al dente just because I know they'll cook a little more. Just... Has she seriously never had baked spaghetti? We had it in every variety you could imagine growing up. From big noodles, penne noodles. My mom would use elbow macaroni noodles. Whatever she could get her hands on, right? Like anyone? Baked spaghetti? Sometimes you do it with marinara sauce. Sometimes you do it with like cream of mushroom. Sometimes you add in like sauteed spinach. No, anyone? Something about this is just driving me crazy though. Cause like that's so much sauce. How many of these noodles is she gonna eat? Like this just doesn't seem like something someone who's had gastric bypass would eat, but she doesn't measure anything either. Like it just freaks me out. So, so let me drain that. So for my saw, I'm just gonna add the noodles to this. So I added the rest of the sauce. Um, I don't need reserve sauce. Mix it all together, put it in, top it with some cheese and bake it. Like bing, bing, boom, it's really pretty easy. All right, we've got a few minutes left on the casserole, but I just got this PR and I'm so excited because I'm gonna take a shower soon. Well, after we have dinner. In shower steam facial, multitasking self-heating mask. Oh, little towel. What is this? this is so fun. I can't wait to like, just keep this in the shower. Self-heating cleansing mask that is so cool um are you kidding look how gorgeous this is i just took it out of the oven so i'll turn off this overhead fan um so for the last like couple minutes i put the broiler on because i always do that with all like kind of it just doesn't look like something stuff, she get should it, like, crispy. eat or uh, it could looks even so eat. good so i literally had to like throw it up right when i ate it, it. In, put a little cheese on top and put it in it just like, looks it so, so cheesy. easy so I will report back and let you guys know if we like this more than a traditional spaghetti. Yeah, and it's a big spaghetti. It's just a nice we little casserole. It. Easy to store, easy to make, fun. Okay, we're just waiting for it to cool down for a minute, but also I found some really cute Lululemon online. So it's just so much better to shop online. It's so fun to shop in store, but there's so much more option online. Um, and I went to the section where it was like, we made too much is what it was called. It was like, clearance because they made too many and they're not selling i'm and sorry I just but it's all by she my does size. shop and there was so much cute stuff for like half price so because i think i had 90 dollars on my okay i'm pausing it again i'm never making it to this video y'all i this is only the third video of hers i've watched is this all she does is it just shopping and food and random cleaning at the house is it it just drives me crazy. Okay. Or 95. Um, and instead of being able to get like one thing, because Lululemon's dumb expensive, I was able to get two things. So I got a really cute top. They did a collab with Mad Happy. And I got another Align workout tank, which are one of my faves from them. So I grabbed another one in a color that was on sale. So exciting many and she's hours using a later straw. okay you guys it is a few hours later i took a shower and i'm just letting my hair air dry okay so the spaghetti casserole it was very good um i think like overall i'm just like not a big fan of like spaghetti and meatballs but like i did like it more than the traditional spaghetti and meatballs like i would definitely make it again i think too i would like to make it again but with my usual rayo's marinara because i used that Yo Mama's one, and I just like didn't love it. It was okay, well, but I feel like I had to add a lot jar, of seasoning so. to get it as good as like my usual marinara is. 
Um, but overall, overall it was pretty good. I did like it. I think I've seen people make it too with like um, an Alfredo, chicken Alfredo bake. There's just so many fun recipes. Like literally yeah, just like Google like, anything. Like go in your pantry you and see what you have and just like type it in it. and hit recipe. And there's just so much like if you get in like recipe ruts or you can use hello fresh <laughs> so tomorrow we're gonna go my mom and i are gonna go to my grandma's we're gonna meet my cousin there and we're gonna um frost easter cookies can you guys just look at how bruno's sitting <laughs> he's such a little human what is this you're just so comfy just looking at mom and dad with your little feet on my legs he's so cute okay i love it you could stay here forever <laughs> so cute good morning you guys happy friday um my workout today is a total body but thankfully it's all like um weights and bench like no machines are required and we have our elliptical in the basement so i'm gonna work out from home because i'm a little crunched on time um because we just had a meeting with our financial advisor Ugh, who else just like hates taxis yeah um but it's almost nine o'clock i have to leave here um, around 10 30 or so to pick up my mom and then head out to my grandma's house for easter cookies and i can't wait to see the dogs play you guys are always like can we see max playing with them max has become an old man <laughs> i don't know i think he and mimi are just like living a quiet life that he really enjoys like he just like does not care about playing with bruno and cha-cha he just does not care but <laughs> Bruno and Chacha do love to play. So I'm going to go down on the elliptical, do my 30 minutes, and then in the garage, I'm going to do my um, my total body. Take a quick shower, get ready super quick. That's and then carbonated an so, energy. One hour workout, then we got to get ready V quick, and then we'll go. But Alani is getting me through. Just so many questionable choices. I appreciate that she works out, but you you can't outwork your fork. You know what I mean? It's great to be, it's great to work out and stuff, but like, if you don't control your eating habits, it, it's meaningless. I'm scared she's gonna conk herself in the head. Look at Bruno. You are so cute. Enjoy these He's commercials. So cute. Um, just finishing up my protein shake. My arms are a little bit shaky holding up the camera. No, Why did she drink and everything with a straw? You're not consistent. Use a straw. It's just like a beautiful morning. And I just really wanted to take him for a walk, especially before we're in the car for a little bit. So I took him for uh, a 30 minute walk. And then I did I my both? strength in the garage. Now just getting this down, getting in the protein. Uh, I'm really excited. I ordered the Ninja Creamy. I've been seeing it everywhere. And I was thinking of making like protein ice cream because like I don't love Halo Top and it's so expensive. It's okay. It's like, it's just okay. But like, I love these core powers. They taste like chocolate milk. And I was like, I could make like the sickest ice cream with this. You yeah, can make sorbet like out of like straight powers. fruit. Really it's like all these awesome healthy dessert options. Um, so I Amazoned it. I can't wait to try that probably in like the next vlog or two. Um, so anyway, yeah, getting my protein down. I'm going to go quickly take a shower, slap on like the little bit of makeup. It's 10 .08. I'm ready for Amber to get one. I, guess, I, get, I, I swear she's going to see this and I'm buy one. So fast. Like I literally throw on two dots of concealer and some cream blush, a little bit of brow gel and mascara. Um, I threw my hair into faux French braids and I got Bruni in the no, back. She's got a lot my mom and Cha Cha. I love seeing kidding? Bruno and Cha Cha play. It like melts my. Okay. Um, I love it. Meme's house. We had a lot of fun making the Easter cookies today. Well, she prepped them and then we frosted them. <laughs> but it was fun. Dogs had fun playing together. Bruno's poop now. He's knocked out on the couch. And I'm whipping up some fajitas for dinner. Just like super quick, super easy. I always keep like a fajita blend of veggies in the freezer. And I always keep my favorite low carb um carb balance. 
wraps um, in the fridge. Like I always just keep those on deck and I have the fajita seasoning in the pantry. So go through your pantry. You probably have stuff you didn't know you had. So easy dinner. I also just made some homemade guac because I had perfectly ripe avocados. So good. I made a ton of chicken. Well, I made two full breasts, but they were like big Avocados breasts. Avocados are so high in fat. Leftovers. And there's nothing wrong They're with that, but like, used ye old girl. fajita season. For the yes. most part, you're allowed like I'm one two, to two slices of avocado. So, guac. how much guac is she going to eat? I like eat? really finely diced red onion in there. I like it really, really fine though, just so for flavor. So problematic. Um, or it's just a little too strong. Lime juice, salt and pep, really, really simple. I'm not a cilantro girl. I know it's really sad. I wish I was. She and these are the um, little flour tortillas that I use. You can use these for so much. Um, it has five grams of protein, not like a ton, but um, yeah, but it has really good, 20 grams carb, of carbs and in they're like one. Really soft and delish. Welcome back to a day in my life vlog. Today I started the day off with a walk with the dog. Okay, so I don't need to watch the recap, y'all. I'm sorry, there was a lot of red flags, a lot of problematic beverages and problematic food choices for someone who has had gastric bypass surgery. Other than that, I find the like, like daily vlog style thing, I, I don't know, like it's not that I don't like them because I do and I've done a couple of them now, but like, <sighs> I feel like with all of their free time, their time that like YouTube is their job, I want to see them do other things, right? Okay, well, I don't know how interesting it was, but those are my thoughts on it and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.